Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to explore how to run and fine tune the DeepSeq OCR model locally using Unsloth. DeepSeq OCR is a powerful 3 billion parameter vision model designed for optical character recognition and document understanding. It's particularly good at handling tables, papers, and even handwriting. One of its key features is its efficiency. It uses a technique called context optical compression to convert 2D layouts into vision tokens, making it about 10 times more efficient than standard text-based large language models. This model already achieves an impressive 97% precision out of the box. What's even more exciting is that we can find Tune Deep Seek OCR to enhance its performance on specific tasks. Let's dive into the fine tuning process. Here we can see the results of fine tuning on a 200 sample Persian dataset. They observed an 88.26% absolute improvement in the character error rate, or CER. After only 60 training steps, the mean CER decreased from nearly 150% down to just 60%. This means the fine-tuned model became 57% more accurate at understanding Persian text. You can see the baseline model's performance with a high character error rate. On the right, after just 60 steps of fine-tuning, the error rate has dropped significantly. You can see the clear improvement in the predictions, which are now much closer to the reference text. Now, let's jump into the Google Colab notebook to see this in action. Now, let's jump into the Google Colab notebook to see this in action. The first step, as always, is to install the necessary dependencies. This cell will install the Unsloth library along with other required packages like transformers and PyTorch. We'll prepare the OCR model. We'll start by downloading the Unsloth slash DeepSeq OCR model from the Hugging Face Hub. Then we'll import the Fast Vision model from the Unsloth library and load the pre train model we just downloaded. This sets up the model with all its weights and configurations ready for us to use. Next, let's evaluate the baseline performance of the model before any fine tuning. We'll load the Persian OCR dataset. To test the model, we'll save one sample image from the dataset which we'll use for our evaluation. As you can see, it's an image of handwritten Persian text. Now we'll run inference on this image. We set up a prompt that tells the model to perform OCR. Then we call the model dot infer function passing in our image. Here's the text the model predicted. To see how well it did, let's compare it to the actual text from the data set. The baseline model's performance on this sample results in a 23% character error rate. Now, let's try this on a completely different image to see how it performs on out-of-the-box tasks. I'll take a screenshot of my YouTube channel page and upload it. I'll just rename the file, then I'll update the image file variable in our inference code to point to this new image. Let's run it and see the result. And there you have it. The model has successfully extracted the text from the screenshot, including the channel name, subscriber count. That's pretty impressive for a baseline model with no specific training on this type of image. No, for the exciting part, let's fine tune the model. We'll use unsloth slower adapters for parameter efficient fine tuning. 
This allows us to train only a small fraction of the model's parameters, making the process much faster and more memory efficient. We'll prepare the model for training by calling fastvisionmodel.getpeftmodel. Before training, we need to prepare our data. The model expects the data in a specific conversational format with roles for the user and assistant. The user provides the image and instruction and the assistant provides the corresponding text. We'll define a function to, to convert each sample in our data set into this format. After running the conversion, we can see the new structure with our image and text properly formatted as a conversation. Next, we create a data collator. This is a helper function that takes our data set samples and prepares them into batches that the model can process for training. It handles tokenization and converts everything into the correct tensor formats. Here we can see what a processed batch looks like with input IDs, labels, and image tensors ready for the model. No, we can finally train the model. We'll use the trainer class from the transformers library. We'll configure our training arguments, setting things like batch size, learning rate, and the number of steps. For this demo, we'll run it for just 60 steps to speed things up. With everything set up, we call trainer.train to begin the fine tuning process. As you can see, the training loss steadily decreases with each step, which indicates the model is learning. After just about 12 minutes, the training is complete. Now let's run inference again on the same sample image to see how much our model has improved. We'll use the same prompt and image as before. And here are the results. With only 60 steps of fine tuning, we've dramatically improved the transcription quality. The character error rate on this single sample dropped from 23% all the way down to 6%. That's a 74% relative reduction, which clearly shows the power of fine tuning with unsloth. Once you're happy with your fine tuned model, you can save it. Unsloth allows you to either save the low R adapters locally or push them directly to your Hugging Face Hub account for easy sharing and deployment. And we're done. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It really motivates me to keep creating more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.